Hey everybody, thank you for checking out my channel, A Square Pillow Isn't Square, the place where you will find anything and everything you wanted to know about home deck sewing. Today we're going to be talking about how to square up the crosswise grain of your fabric. Whether you're making clothes or drapery or cushions, anything at all that you're sewing from fabric, it's important to know how to make sure your crosswise grain is completely perpendicular or squared up to your lengthwise grain. When you're working with uh, home deck projects, draperies in particular, you're working with large volumes of fabric and the more fabric you're working with, the more exaggerated the problem can be if you have not cut your fabric um, exactly straight on your, on your crosswise grain. So today we're just going to talk about how to square up your fabric by pulling a thread. When it comes to cutting fabric, it's really important to be able to identify your lengthwise and crosswise grain so that your cuts are straight and square, resulting in a finished product that doesn't warp or skew. The lengthwise grain is easy. That's your selvage or finished edges of the fabric. The crosswise grain, however, might look straight when you lay out your fabric or unroll your fabric, but often it isn't. And pulling a thread is the very best way to actually determine your crosswise grain, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So here's a fabric that I've unrolled from the bolt. I've lined my selvage up with the line along the uh, lengthwise uh, edge of my cutting table, and I've lined the crosswise cut along my short line, my horizontal line on my cutting table. Normally you'd say, okay, we're all lined up, it's all square, let's go ahead and cut it and get going. But if you look a little bit more carefully, you'll see that the grain line on this fabric is not actually lined up straight. And I use this fabric as an example because the way that it's woven, the different color threads that are woven through it crosswise, you can sort of see the direction of the crosswise grain and you can see that it's indeed not lining up straight at all. And I'm going to show this fabric too. Um, this one, it's impossible to see the crosswise grain like we did on the last one. And I've again lined this one up on my selvage edge and it looks pretty straight on the crosswise edge. I mean, not perfect, but um, we're going to figure out how to find out for sure if this one's straight when you can't see the grain at all. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to pull a thread on this fabric with the very easily seen grain lines. Um, I'm using this one partly because it's easy to see the grain, but also because it has large threads and it's more loosely woven. Larger threads and a looser weave means it's easier to pull your thread. Here, so I'm going to just start at the shortest end. I'm going to pull a thread down until I get until I get a nice one to grab. There's a couple. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and pull it and work that fullness down like so. If you have a fabric like this that's fairly soft, it has very large threads, it's really easy to do this. And you will go all the way to the selvage at the other end and it'll just pop out. And you should be able to just pull that thread all the way out. But see this little kind of bluish line? That is the place where my fabric just came, my thread just came out. I'll pull another one to make it a little more obvious. I'll go down a little further to the next thread down. And I'm going to pull it out. Okay, now you should be able to see that sort of bluish line. But that is actually the straight grain of the fabric. So now I'll get my scissors and I will cut right along that, that line. Okay. 
Okay, that was the loosely woven fabric. Let's try it on the tightly woven fabric. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to start at the highest point of the fabric and just pull down until you get yourself a thread like this. And you just pull, hold that thread nice and firm and gently work your way down the fabric. See how I'm holding this, this thread tight and I'm gen, gen, gently, I can talk, um, working the fabric all the way down the thread. Take your time, be careful. Um, a lot of times a thread will break while you're doing this and you'll just kind of, I'll show you what'll happen, what to happen, what to do if it breaks because this one probably will. Oh, did you hear it break? So now I'm just going to pull, pull it out and you can probably see very clearly the thread that I've just pulled out. That is my crosswise grain of my fabric, but I broke it. So what I'll do, excuse the sniffling I have. I have a pretty bad cold. Hey, Tuggy, buddy, Tug, you better move, bud. Thanks. Um, so what I'll do is I will just snip to this point where I cut my thread out and make a little horizontal cut like that. And I will just find that thread again and pull it out. There we go. See that? Work it all the way to the end. Uh oh, I just broke it again. You get the idea? Oh, but it made it almost to the end before it broke. So, then all you would do is you would simply cut along this line where you pulled your thread and now you've got a good crosswise um, square grain to work with. So whether you're using a table like mine where you have vertical and horizontal lines that are square that you can use as a reference or whether you use a carpenter square or t-square to make sure your fabric is lined up, now you know that not only is it perpendicular, crosswise and lengthwise, but you're also going to cut on the straight grain of the fabric. So I hope that video wasn't too much of a mess for you. Clearly I have a pretty bad cold. It took me several tries over a couple days to get it done, so I don't know, I have two or three different shirts on, but the information is still good and still important. So. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. There's lots of good information on here with lots more to come. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned and happy sewing.